Over the course of these Vitruvian Studio lessons about drawing basics, I've practiced drawing straight lines and curved lines, and I've practiced triangulation to get angles and proportions right. I've practiced shading and getting different values and hues, and I've gained a lot more familiarity with materials. In the three lessons preceding this, I was drawing a cube in isolation, a cylinder in isolation, and then a sphere in isolation. And here in this final lesson, I'm drawing all three shapes in one drawing. And to say it out loud, it sounds pretty trivial, but this uh, drawing took me multiple days to complete. And the lessons showing how to do the drawing were hours and hours of video to watch, which I really appreciated because as I worked through it, I realized that, again, one of the key things here in producing something that's of higher quality is just exercising a lot of patience and not rushing and not looking for shortcuts. I started with the envelope of the shapes and I had to rework that a couple of times. Then I did the value study to try and get a basic familiarity with what types of pencils and chalk I was going to need to lay down in order to get the right uh, values on the drawing. And then when I moved to the main drawing, really I had to rework it multiple times to try and get it right. And it's all that reworking and all of that careful attention to every little aspect of the drawing that produces a higher quality result. Now, I'm not saying that what I produced is necessarily high quality, but it's definitely better than pretty much anything else I've ever drawn in my pretty short drawing career. You know, just realizing that I'm going to sit down right now and I'm going to take 30 minutes to just get the shading on the edge of this cylinder right. And I'm going to go over it and over it. I'm going to squint and I'm going to refer to the example drawing over and over and go back and forth until... I get something approximating what I'm looking for, and most importantly on the sphere, just really learning to take my time and trying not to rush it or to just settle for what isn't quite good enough. Now, I recognize in the end that my drawing the sphere is still a little wonky, still not quite photorealistic or anything like that, but I really do feel like I did a better job on each of these shapes in the one drawing with all of them together than I did drawing them for the first time just on their own in individual drawings. Now, as I was working through this, it occurred to me that as I'm going from the value study into the actual drawing, that I'm making adjustments even there. The value study, everything seemed a little bit lighter, but as I was working through, I ended up having to take the shade of everything down darker. And, you know, before this course, I may have just been inclined to go with the first pass and say, you know what, that's probably good enough. It could probably go darker, but this is fine. But this course really reinforces that just take that time and just embrace it. You know, don't worry about how long this is taking you. You're not being paid for producing, you know, mass units of drawings. You're just here to enjoy the process and to really spend the time with it that's needed to to do the good job. And so that above all, I really appreciate is just this lesson in patience and practice. I really enjoyed the Vitruvian Studio Drawing Basics course, and I'm, I'm really happy with the progress that I made. I know I have a long way to go, but I'm looking forward to taking more courses from them. And I recommend that you try them out as well if you're interested. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. And again, thanks for watching this. Take care.